Hello everyone, my name is Halvey. In this video, we will be looking at the history of the Fog of War mechanic in the Fire Emblem series. Fog of War is a battle condition that was first introduced in the fifth game of the series, Thracia 776, and has been present in many games after that. Interestingly, there is an unused item in FE1 called the Telescope, and its function implies that Fog of War, or a similar mechanic, may have been planned to appear in that game. When Fog of War is present on a map, it means that the battlefield is obscured in some way, and the player's view of the map and its contents is limited to a smaller field which adds a level of uncertainty to the map and causes the player to act more cautiously. Fog of War has been portrayed in a few different ways throughout the series such as literal fog, darkness at night or indoors, sandstorms, and snowstorms. When fog of war is in effect, only a small area of vision surrounding each individual player unit can be seen. The same applies for green units and other ally units. Enemy units cannot be seen or attacked until they come into a player or ally unit's field of vision, and that is where the challenge of fog of war maps comes into play. As Kent says, it will be difficult to fight what we cannot see. In addition, it is possible to accidentally run into an enemy unit when moving a player unit. When this happens, the moving unit will stop and automatically wait on the tile just before the enemy they ran into and does not get the opportunity to perform any more actions. However, the AI for enemy and other units does not play by the same rules. When they play out their turns, they are unaffected by fog of war and can attack units that would not fall into their field of vision. So basically, the enemy is cheating and has a huge advantage. Also, a unit's field of vision is only updated after that unit performs an action such as attacking or waiting. Most of the time, the fog or whatever it may be just dims or darkens the rest of the map outside of your field of vision and the enemies are just hiding within. The layout of the map and terrain data can still be seen. FE5 is an exception here because in that game, tiles that are not in the player's field of vision are blacked out leaving the player completely in the dark on what could be out there. Although using your unit's movement range, you can kind of make out where walls are and stuff like that. In Fog of War, the area of the map visible to the player depends on the vision of the units themselves. I will just go ahead and put up on screen how unit vision works in each game. FE6 and FE10 are a bit more complicated, and we will go over that later. So normal units only have a small range of vision of only two or three tiles around them usually. Some unit classes, such as thieves, assassins, and rogues have a greater field of vision which can sometimes be more than double that of a normal unit, depending on the game. Besides a thief unit, another way to increase your field of vision is with using a torch item or torch staff. The torch item will temporarily increase the field of vision of the unit that used it. Its effect will decrease at a rate of one tile per turn. The torch staff works the same way, except for in some games, you can cast the vision increase at a fixed spot within the unit's staff range. The effects of the torch item or staff can vary depending on the game. Usually they will increase field of vision of the user by four or five tiles. In FE5, it increases it by 10. And in both Radiant Dawn and Engage, there are obstacles called watch fires or beacons that are placed throughout some Fog of War maps. They can be lit or extinguished by units. And when they are lit, they will light up the surrounding area, making it visible. Something else is that that most of the time, if there are reinforcements in a fog of war map, the camera will pan over to the general area of where they are spawning from. The camera panning and sound effects can also help you get a general idea of where enemies are moving around at during enemy phase. Thracia 776 being the first game to feature fog of war maps has a total of eight of them. However, only one is a main story chapter while the rest are all from guiding chapters. FE5 arguably has the harshest fog of war since tiles out outside of your field of vision are pitch black. Also during battle preps, you have no idea what the map even looks like. It doesn't show you anything. Torches expand your field of vision by a lot though, so you wanna try and get your hands on as many of them as you can by capturing and stealing from enemies. The Binding Blade also has eight Fog 
of War maps. One of them though is a trial map and is not in the main game. There is also one exclusive to the Ilya route and two exclusive to the Sakai route. From FE6 and onward, they made it so that you can view the map and your unit starting positions during battle preps. And if you have a thief, you can move them around the starting positions to scope out the immediate area to get an idea for where enemies are. Also in FE6, a unit's vision depends on which map it is, so the vision for normal and thief units can vary by quite a bit from map to map. The Blazing Blade has 8 Fog of War maps as well. Chapter 9 starts out with no fog but it then rolls in on turn 3. Living Legend is only Fog of War if playing on Hector Hard Mode and only the Lloyd version of 4 Fanged Offense is Fog of War. The Sacred Stones has 4 main story Fog of War maps. Creeping Darkness is exclusive to Erica's route and Phantom Ship is exclusive to Ephraim's route. Also any skirmish on the world map has a random chance to have Fog of War in effect. Path of Radiance has only two Fog of War maps and the Fog of War is only present if playing on Hard or Maniac modes. Easy and Normal do not have any Fog of War in any chapter. Radiant Dawn has six Fog of War maps and in FE10 a unit's vision depends on their class as well as if they are Bjork or Laguz and Janef has a personal skill called Insight which increases his vision. So for Bjork units they could have a vision of anywhere from as low as two squares all the way up to 5 squares depending on the class. Vision ranges for Laguz units depends on if they are shifted or unshifted and on top of that bird Laguz have poor vision in Fog of War while the Beast Tribe has the best vision and the Dragon Tribe sits in the middle. In this game the Torch Staff increases a unit's vision just by having it equipped. Also in FE10 Fog of War prevents the player from viewing a space's terrain effects. Shadow Dragon doesn't feature Fog of War in any of the main story chapters, it only exists in the multiplayer battle mode where it can be enabled or disabled. New Mystery of the Emblem has only two Fog of War maps in the main game and it also has the multiplayer battle mode where Fog of War can be enabled or disabled. Fates does not have traditional Fog of War but there are two maps in Revelation that have mechanics that function very similar to Fog of War. Chapter 7 is divided up into rooms that are covered in dark darkness until you send a unit to approach each of them. Then the interior of the room is revealed and enemies may appear. There are also additional paths that reveal a teleport tile and are designed to fake you out. The idea is that you go room to room trying to find the path to the boss so that you can end the map. Chapter 10's map is covered in snow which not only obscures the player's vision but it also obstructs movement. The idea here is that you have to use your units to attack the snow which will permanently remove it from the battlefield so that you can make progress towards the boss. Enemies are trapped in the snow and cannot move until you set them free. Some enemies will drop stat boosters and other valuable items and weapons so you have to decide whether you want to take the time to clear out all of the snow and find all that's hidden within or maybe you just want to rush to take out the boss and end the map as quick as you can. Three Houses has four Fog of War maps. Chapter 3 is Fog of War for the first half of the map and then the fog is lifted after killing the Dark Mage Commander and Lonato reveals himself. The other three maps are all from Paralogs. Engage has three Fog of War maps. In this game, player units cannot even move into spaces that are outside of the field of vision, eliminating the chances of blindly running into an unseen enemy and having that unit's turn end then and there. In addition to torches, torch staves, and the beacons on the map, Micaiah's Shine Tome can also increase the field of vision after using it to attack an enemy. And with all that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.